We are making an outing Friday before Christmas. It is so busy. I just pulled into Target. So here's the situation. Here's the the situation that happened this yesterday. I went to go make a shot of espresso, and if you know me, my pride enjoys my espresso machine, and I turned it on, and there was an error code. And if you know anything about Breville espresso machines and their customer service, it's a pain, but also there was like no way I could fix this error code. If you know me, I really, I need caffeine in the morning. Like I know people say that, but I genuinely like, oh God, I'm like all over the place. Basically, I need to get a new espresso machine, so um, we are going to Crate and Barrel. Hopefully, everything will work out. I've been having some problems with my card. I changed some of my information earlier <laughs> this week, so we are just a mess. I'm hoping that we can end up getting this espresso machine, but it's also the weekend of Christmas, so everything is super busy. We're at Target right now. I need to just get a few little bits and bobs and ends, and we're going to mostly we're mostly here to check if my card will work or not because I don't want to go to Crate and Barrel and then have my card not work. I don't know. It's a whole situation. I went to Starbucks early this morning and got a little like macchiato thing and I don't think there was any espresso in it. It tasted like just straight milky sugar so I didn't really drink much of it and I feel a caffeine headache coming on but we're gonna have a little shopping day so let, let pack your bag, grab your drink because I'm jealous if you have a drink right now and let's go. Why are there so many different types of band-aids? I guess we'll get these ones. These look good. It definitely is the holidays. I just waited in probably the longest self-checkout line of all times for just some toothbrush covers and band-aids. Card worked, which is a good thing. I feel like it's only not working online. Hold on. Because maybe I can't remember can't remember what name you know how when you place an order online you put your card information in. Changed my last name and I don't know if it's like updated in the system yet, but like it just wasn't working. But it works in store, which is good. So we're gonna head off to Crate and Barrel. I don't think I've told you guys the mission today. I have some really last minute gift shopping to do. And I was like so happy. I'm like, look at me, I got all my gift shopping done and I forgot some things. So we're doing like last minute running around today. Uh, Home Goods, we just did Target, Crate and Barrel. I like to do smaller businesses. So we'll go around to probably like some of my favorite like local places here in um, like the Tampa area, so. <laughs> we better go do some last minute shopping, which sucks because obviously Christmas weekend is like the biggest shopping weekend. So it's going to be super busy. I have my festive nails. They're done. Um, I did red. I never do red. I feel like I'm getting more okay with like colors. It still feels a little strange, but I did red. I got a Russian manicure, which is my first time getting a Russian manicure. And I'm not sure how well you guys can tell, but I got these done like three days ago something like that they're insane they're insane they look so good if you've not gotten a russian manicure yet i really recommend it i think they spend more time on your cuticles which makes your manicure just like look so much better all right so we're here and someone want to tell me why crate and barrel is not busy at all we're at the international mall in tampa and the mall is obviously super super busy i waited forever to turn into like the mall parking lot however crate and barrel does not look busy at all which is really nice because whenever i i don't know if i'm the only one that gets like this and i know i'm not so i'm hoping we can relate on this right now i get super nervous making big purchases in store i just feel like something's always going to go wrong even when i know like it's all okay i get really anxious making like big purchases so it's always nice when it's not busy because then i can just like calm down and I'm I have time there's I don't feel rushed I feel as relaxed as possible so hopefully they have this in stock they said online they had it in stock but I'm hoping things go smoothly so wish me luck we got it no issues and I'm gonna go to the like pickup and they'll put it in my car 
I love that. I love that. I was like, I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to like ask someone. Obviously it's crate and barrel, so they have people to bring it out to your car, but I just oh, I love that. I can just pull the car up and they put it in. It's just oh, fabulous. That machine is heavy. If you have the espresso machine, it's a heavy one. Oh my gosh, it was a mess. I guess they had my order waiting. So I guess my card did go through this morning. So I was charged for it like multiple times. Oh my God. Quick pit stop at home. One, I decided I need coffee. And two, probably thought it was a good idea. I shouldn't be driving around with this in the back of my car. Just probably not the smartest idea, especially with it being like the holiday season. And that stuff obviously occurs more in the holiday season. I was like, we'll stop at home. We'll do a little unboxing. Going to try to open this up and set this up without breaking a nail, but ooh, all new fun stuff. I should probably move the old one so we can put this one in its place. Gonna obviously keep all of my little accessories for the espresso machine, and obviously I'm gonna keep this. I feel like I probably could get the spare parts and like maybe fix it, but honestly, we just don't have time for that. So out with the old and in with the new. The espresso machine is all set up. Unfortunately though, my espresso beans that I was using are bad. So we gotta go get some more when we can go run out our, go run, go run out our errands, go run our errands. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna put the old one back into the box and then bring that to storage. I feel like I could probably fix it, but the part that I need in order to fix it is currently sold out and I couldn't get a hold of support to be able to fix it. It's just unfortunate because I really do love this espresso machine. So I feel comfortable with just getting another one and then, I don't know, just dealing with it. I know that's so ridiculous, but it is what it is. Honestly, I feel like I totally got my money's worth out of the other espresso machine used it every single day multiple times a day it was like an embarrassing amount that i used it so i definitely feel like i got my money's worth so i'm kind of okay with getting another one ideally when we move and get a house i want to get either one built in or get like a really really nice one that's gonna like last me forever forever um so this will do until then. I obviously really love this espresso machine and I do recommend it. Even though the other one I had problems with, I had it for about a year and a half, but I used it all the time. I do recommend it. It's an easy to use machine. It's touch screen. It's fabulous, which is why I got another one. With that, I also remembered I wanted to show you the office. I ended up filming this for TikTok and Instagram Reels. I did this little DIY, went to Hobby Lobby, got a canvas. They had these white wooden letters, so I did Till Death We Art, but it was supposed to be Till Death Do... Wait, what was it? Till Death Do We Part? I think it was supposed to be Till Death We... Till Death Do We Art? I think that's how... <laughs> I don't know, but it was supposed to be something different, but they didn't have another letter that I needed in stock, so I just kind of whatever, and I, I like the way it ended up lining up but it's just white wooden letters and then I just really messily painted it with white acrylic paint it's actually this acrylic paint I got everything at Hobby Lobby it ended up being like 60 bucks lamp target notepad target candle local shop that we're gonna be going to standing desk and then my chair and I pulled the standing desk out so I can raise it up to be able to use my under the desk treadmill but that was my project this week. I can't remember if I showed you guys on YouTube, but this is my wrapping for this year for gifts. I will have all the stuff linked in the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. It might be a little too late, but hey, if you're doing last minute holiday wrapping, it'll be there nonetheless. Thick ribbon. This is like my secret to making it look really luxurious and getting a big bow. This is four inch ribbon. I got these two colors. So they're pretty just a green and a blue an honorable mention my other wrapping paper i've been using obviously the ski one this is just like a white satin and then this one is a navy blue and green plaid kind of like a different like blue to me is one of those hidden christmas colors I don't know why, but I wasn't listening to Christmas music earlier, so we have that on now. It's not fitting with the palm trees behind me, but it works. Baby, I, wanna... I found 
found so many great little gifts that are pre-packaged. I'll show you when I get home, but I love having just go-to gift packages on deck for gifts throughout the year, but for the holidays, at the end of the holidays, you can normally get some good deals. We did good in there, I got a few things. One of them was like a last minute grab because I knew I was gonna regret it. But we are in a parking garage right now, so I'm not gonna sit here and talk. I'm gonna hit the road. I hate staying in a parking garage and just like not going. Doesn't feel safe. <laughs> Off to Whole Foods, we have to get espresso beans, as well as, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna get their broccoli salad, which if you've never tried Whole Foods broccoli salad, it is so good. It's very similar, if not exact copycat, of chicken salad chicks, broccoli salad. If you know, you know, it's delicious. So I'm gonna get a little container of that. Hopefully they'll have it in stock. They didn't have it last time, so I have my fingers crossed because I'm super hungry. Gotta double check when it was roasted. Perfect. They're out of it. That's what I normally get. It's so good. I guess I'm gonna try the pasta. We'll try that. Thank you for shopping. We're home, verdict after a couple of bites. It's really good, it has like zucchini, it has onions, it's got roasted red peppers, it's got feta cheese, a dressing, an artichoke. It's actually pretty good. I still like the broccoli salad better, but this one will do if they're out, because I feel like they're always out. Salad was pretty good. I ate like about half of it, and the verdict is good. Again, not as good as the broccoli. Now let's do a little haul. I feel like I always go out and do shopping, but I'm always trying to support smaller local businesses. And so that's where I get like a lot of my gifts and a lot of my home decor as I've been kind of collecting some things. So first, stopped at the Ivory Palm, which is my favorite shop in Dunedin, Florida. Got this gorgeous velvet green hair bow. I feel like this will be perfect for Christmas. And I also got a pair of earrings that I also feel like will be perfect for Christmas, mostly because I lost mine. I lost one of my earrings today in the car at Crate and Barrel, so that kind of sucks. But I just got this pair of like gold dangly hoops and then from the tampa bay interiors which is also in dunedin florida another one of my favorites i just got a couple of gifts for people for somebody who likes cocktails comes with a little cocktail book as well as some little cocktail making accessories and then i also got this gift which i love and i know who this is going to and I hope that she's not watching right now because this is so pretty. But it's a little wooden like cutting board or like charcuterie board, a towel, and a little cheese spreader so you can make like a little cheese board with this. I absolutely love that. For the entryway table, I found this book that will go perfect in my little book section. I don't think I've shown you that, like updated. So I'll give I'll show you that in a second. But it's this the little sh surf shack book and it's got just like a bunch of beachy kind of prints inside the spine will look perfect on that little bookcase so let's go let's go put that where it needs to go oh and not that it matters but all i got from whole foods was the coffee beans i feel like that looks so good i know what is this a pop of color emily are you okay i'm not sure but it's dolly parton so we needed it these are the books that i have um the sailing the seas i found this years ago at a local shop oh my god wait i think i got this at oxford exchange in tampa and then dolly parton i got this on amazon it shows all the behind the scenes and like details of her outfits and fashion and life i love it and then we just added the surf shack now this is the coffee to ignore noah's water thing it's just we've got boxes and it's kind of all over the place but this is coming along i still need to get a print to go up here and just 
moving things around slowly, but it's getting there. All of these Stanleys are gifts for this holiday, and I'm waiting on the bags for them. I ended up getting um, ones from Amazon. They were just the cheapest ones I could find. They're brown with black ribbon. They're supposed to be delivered. Actually, let me check and see when they're supposed because they're supposed to be out for delivery today. I also really badly want to make a latte, so I'm gonna have to try to like dial in my beans and everything. If you have an espresso machine, you know what I'm talking about. You have to like set the the grind settings and all that stuff which can be a little fussy um and then i am going to i was in the car and i was thinking about it i am going to contact the breville because i did find out i do have a two-year warranty on it so if i contact them they might be able to send me like another machine and then i'll just have two machines maybe i'll just give away the other machine or find a home for it but like I should get the other machine you know what I mean um because I do have the warranty and I'm like maybe I'll give it to someone as a really good gift or maybe do a giveaway with it I'm not sure oh gift bags are out for delivery these are the ones that I got they're just like a craft paper kind of with a black ribbon I'm gonna use either black or white tissue paper for them and that's what will go in the Stanleys. Thankfully, it comes with 10. I forgot to count, and I think I need eight or six, so that'll work. 